I'm having an issue with my camera again. But basically, the wire showed um, it was a, a segment of the city that was um, basically the city allowed them to do whatever there. Now, I don't know if basically, you know, it was called the wire because they basically was tapping their phones. So they would, they had all these little like burnouts. Like, um, you know, more, more than likely probably was, you know, Esau Edom is a so much of a devil, you know, like, like with the whole Freeway Ricky Ross situation, you know what I mean? You know, the same government that's talking about it's a war on drugs was funneling drugs in there to pay for a war. You know, Esau Edom sets up things like that, like they'll funnel drugs through the city to pay for whatever and then literally go basically arrest everybody that was involved in it. But, you know, for the niggas that's in the street, this man just a man that got caught up, not knowing that he's dealing with Esau Edom. You know, when you go into Al Sharpton and shit like that, like, come to find out, that's a, the, 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 they create our, well, not our, because they're not my leaders. My my, my leaders, scriptures tell you that I should see thy teachers. My my leaders are my teachers, men that are risking and doing the things that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm building upon another man's foundation. So I can't change up anything, you know what I mean? I can't buck up into anything, you know what I mean? Like, you know, this wasn't mine. You know, the spirit moved me to say this is the truth, though. Anyhow, um, you know, but when you go into Al Sharpton, this snake motherfucker, they come talking about Al Sharpton was in the music industry. Now he just a fucking pastor. That's just like little Boosie. I mean, not to digress, but this is it. And then people just so, and then, like, oh, man. Like, so let me get this straight. You will really allow Lil Boosie to marry you? So he going one minute talking about sweet baby Jesus and the next minute he going to be telling the bitch to suck his dick. Or something else vulgar. Or, you know what I mean? Somebody get offended because I use the word dick, but then they don't listen to little Boosie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's how goofy this place is. <laughs> so anyhow, that's why I say, like, we need, we need, we need rest. We need deliverance. You know? Um, so he says at least 12 major U.S. cities have already set historical murder records. In 2021, even as three weeks remain in the year, Philadelphia, the nation's sixth largest city, recorded lock it, 523 murders as of December 7th, surpassing its former grim milestone of 500 murders. The city of brotherly love had recorded significantly more murders in 2021 than New York City's 443. Damn, that's deep. Yeah, but like I said, when you go into Kingston, like I did a video on that, like literally like that's scared row. They sitting there literally getting like 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 with the needle in they with their arm in their arm. Like the dope boys go down there and like like that bitch, I that's how you know hey, and it's all orchestrated, you know what I mean? That's just like, but come on, Esau's remedy to drug use is what? He's gonna actually monitor their drug use. And that's just control. You know what I mean? Like the fuck? You're not going to try and stop the drug use or rehabilitate these people. You're just going to allow them to use it, but you're going to control how much they intake. This is this man's mindset. And you thinking this man is, you know, it tells you in the scriptures that the blind leading the blind, they both should fall in the ditch. So you got our dumb ass people that is looking for this man for guidance, looking to this man for guidance. He don't know where the fuck he going. For you to be that stupid, you know what I mean? Like, like I said, all you're doing is creating more of a problem. And then the thing is this. You really think, like, if you ever been around anybody on drugs, those are demons. So, like, I've seen, I, I know somebody recently just went through that. Grew up with a person all their life. Didn't, and they in a fucked up situation where they ain't got no place to really stay. So, I suggested, like, literally, because they were standing in the shelter and all this old fucked up shit kept on happening. I'm like, well, why don't you just go to your friend's house, give them a couple dollars. Never, they never telling me this person got a habit. So, I'm like, oh, wow. So, then I get to finding out this, and I'm like, well, damn, it's like you should have stayed where you was at, and that was bad. The Lord, like, really testing her. But the point being, I'm like, you know, the thing she didn't think this person would do because she grew up with him and, and all that. You know, when you got demons on you like that, like when you on drugs, you don't think shit you would normally wouldn't do. You know, now you capable of doing anything. You got women that got dudes that will go suck a dick to go get, you know, a drug. Shit. If both of them on drugs, the guy might tell her to go suck the dick to go get the money. You know what I mean? Like, this is what happens. That's the kind of spirit you're dealing with. So, you know what I mean? Like, literally, you really think, you know, if they monitoring the drug use at these facilities, that literally, 
once you leave that facility, like they're giving you clean needles. They might even give you a bag to like if you like on heroin. And you know, the heroin shit, if you can't get that, you could, you know, I mean, you go into, you know, shock, your body be all fucked up. They might give you the bag to, you know what I mean? So you, you ain't all sick and shit. But you know what I mean? Like, this is this man's solution. They, like, so you don't know what kind of experimentations they're going to do in this type of shit. Like, if they experimented on us through the music, through the food, everything is like, like just so fucked up here. And then you got people that's trying to hold on to it. But like I said, you gonna have people for like they you got people advocating this shit. They said they was using monkeys to smoke crack before the crack epidemic happened like this. That's how you know that they actually orchestrated it. See, it was ultimately set up to fuck up Jake. But to show you how it's truly your uh your how about y'all shot truly controls all things, it tells you that in the book of um Sirach. His will uh all things being to his will, roughly paraphrased. You know what I mean? That, you know, it, it literally destroyed the country. And now this heroin epidemic, and, and you know, that's good for him. Like, I, I, David Chappelle made a joke about that. You know, because it was all, you know, when they was giving Jake Buck Rogers time for getting caught with two crack rocks. You know what I mean? And, and then you still got these stupid-ass jokes that think that we are, like, on a level where we're all, like, Americans and all this shit. Look at the time they was giving Jake for getting caught with crack rock as opposed to these fucking Edomites getting caught with needles and fucking with this dog food and fentanyl and all this shit. You know what I mean? And literally, they getting, you know, rehabilitation. So, proving to you that this system is not fair. It's not unfair. You know, I, I was just listening to a young guy... Uh, What's his, his channel? Girl, he funny as fuck. And he be rapping sometimes, you know. You know, he got a lot of talent. I mean, you know, like I said, I just, you know, I'll give respect and respect dude because I, I don't have that type of talent. Like, he he's silly, but he can rap. And he was rapping. He was saying, like, uh, he said, if life's unfair, ain't it, ain't it, ain't it fair? <laughs> you know what I mean? He made a statement like that. If, we take time, if life is unfair for everybody, like, to show you how cold it is, it made me think of that scripture, the hour of temptation. We all are going to be tested. That's how just Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is. From the rich, the poor, the free, the bond. We all going to, uh, who's to say how your lot going to be when you get tested? But nonetheless, we all going to get tested. Some people going to get tested through their families. Some people through their jobs. You know, some people going to break because, you know, they hungry. You know, that's why... Paul said he bringing his body up under subjection. That's why it's so important to fast. You know, to, you know what I mean? just imagine a man that, that, that forsake this truth for, for, for the sake of few of food. <clears throat> it's terrible to, I mean, and like I said, it's easier said than done. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, have you ever truly been hungry? You know, have you ever been truly like when you, Weak and famished, you, you start lightweight hallucinating. But that's where faith kick in. Like I said, like Abraham left his 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 family all he knew because he had faith. He trusted in Yahweh about Shem Yahshua. And we coming into the times where we're gonna have to actually show that type of faith as well. It's terrible to every more to every morning get up and have to go look at the numbers and then look at the news and see these stories. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. And this needs to stop. Philadelphia mayor <laughs> says, so I'm a, damn, I did not know that Columbus, Ohio is one of the 12 cities. So you got to leave, hold on, Columbus, Ohio, Indianapolis, Indiana, Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky, St. Paul, Minnesota, Portland, Oregon, Tuscan, Arizona, Toledo, Ohio. But we on there twice, huh? They ain't made mention of Cleveland, which is surprising when Cleveland is worse than Oh, well, Columbus kind of wild. But I ain't know about Toledo. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, of course, Austin, Texas, Rochester, New York, and Albuquer Albuquerque, New Mexico also had their deadliest years on record. Damn. So basically, they had more deaths this year than they normally have ever had. Yeah, that, and that's spiritual. That's the Lord speaking. So, uh, damn, dead bodies. So, that's enough for that. Um, this is a book of... 
Isaiah chapter 19, verse 2, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And that's coming. You're seeing, like I said, this looting, you're seeing this violence on the upswing. Um, and you know, this is all the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh. You're seeing these nations test their missiles, you know, because it tells you in the most, I mean, it tells you in the book of Hebrews that the Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh, is the 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 Father of Spirits. So he's riling these spirits up. You know, there's a lot of deaf angels over here right now because there's a lot of judgment. Uh, so I'm going to end on 2 Ezra. Book of 2 Ezra, chapter 15. We'll start at verse 14. 2 Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe meaning destruction. And you see in death and destruction take place as we speak. For the sword and their destruction, I just read it. For the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. And that's talking about different nations of people, but it's also talking about groups of people as well. You got the ex military that's going to be fighting against the military. You're going to have the ex police officers that's going to be fighting against the current police officers. Because it's basically a, a huge divide. You know, the brother um, died garments from Basra made a video yesterday called um, the divided states of Babylon. <laughs> it was a play on words, but nonetheless, like I've heard a lot of brothers make mention of this, you know, um, how this place is divided. And this is all of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And, you know, I was reading, um, I, it was one of the gospels and it was talking about how when Yahweh Shah was speaking, he, he you know, you know, he his very presence was bringing division because you had a group of like listeners or a group of people that was amongst those listening that was like against what he was saying. Like he's a devil, he's a demon. And then you had a group that would hear what he was saying amongst that same crowd that was up there. Like, oh yeah, he got to be the Messiah. So his very words was bringing division. And then it tells you in the scriptures about uh, I came not to bring peace but division. And the book of Luke chapter 12. So, you know, uh, verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. With, with sedition basically going into uprisings. You know, you go into um, 2 Ezra chapter 9, it talks about uproars and upquake, earthquakes. And these are all the tokens or the signs of the end. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. They're in trouble because a great trial is coming for all of us. And that's that our temptation. We all going to be tried. Well, what you going to do, you know, uh, as far as with this uh, dealing with Vanessa, First and foremost, because that's a precursor. Because if you go, like, and I finally understand, you know, I was listening to the elder, but I had in my mind, you know, that I wasn't dealing with it regardless. Now, I don't know what the Most High had set up for me. I Lord willingly that he had to set up for me where I don't. I pray that the Lord keep me. I pray you how about me? I wish I keep me. Because like I said, you know, but I see why the elder said that. He said, you had a lot of people that actually said they weren't going to take this. The whole deal with vaccine, I said vaccine, deal with vaccine and then end up taking it because they got pressure. So if you go get pressure to take it, that, then you definitely go take, you know, right. You know, when you go into, it talk about, I mean, it's certain movies that I, uh, you can watch where they was like, oh, you didn't take this. You know, they beheaded you because you didn't take it. You know, when you go into that uh, Batman movie, uh, it literally show you The Dark Knight Rises. That's the name of it. The Dark Knight Rises, it show you basically they was draconian or, and they measures if they found you guilty. And that's what everything's going back to. At the end, they'll make you walk the ice and the freezing cold. And you know how cold New York is. Or if you don't know, you know, New York, Chicago, Cleveland, we, you know, we, we're cold states. And winter is coming. <laughs> so, 
If you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the laws, to the statutes, and to the commandments of Yahweh. Yahweh, Ba, Shem, Yahweh, Shower, you will be destroyed. With that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to call loyal. La Yahweh, Ba, Shem, Yahweh, Shower, Ba, Shem, Rechak, with the Kitab, double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this was edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations. Subscribe to this truth to you. I say Shalom. Till so next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, Shalom. Waffle like a ball. Shalom. Yeah.